But the concept of aliens' existence is merely half the story. The yeah. other half is why the hell are they here? And why are they trying to probe us? That's a big, that's a big question. <laughs> it is. I was going to say it's a big question before you said probing. <laughs> now I'm just intrigued. In all of our storytelling of them, they are heroes, villains, background off-brand cigarette merchants, and everything in between. <laughs> They travel in incredible ships that use an infinite improbability drive to teleport across the universe, or they warp into hyperspace to strange new worlds. Or use black holes. Not all of Starfleet were humans. They bring gifts of technology, or use theirs to destroy our landmarks. What is their ultimate goal in their visitations to us? Is it to observe us, to keep tabs on their investments, or are we to be used as their lab experiments, and is that why they keep tabs on us? There are so many possibilities for their visitations, and we may not know why in our lifetime, but today we're going to take a close look at some of the more popular theories of what their intentions are with us in yeah. our planet. We're going to jump into the first theory, which is the alien-human hybrid program. Program! Program! In countless abduction cases, you can find the common theme of a man or a woman, usually a man, waking aboard a ship, being taken to some special jerk shack and either being forced <laughs> into intercourse with some kind of Fucking alien. Fucking Robert De Niro, baby. Yeah. <laughs> the jerk shack. <laughs> mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Semi-passable hand job. <laughs> that's a better one. I can't do his look. I'm trying. Oh, so they're either forced in their course with some kind of alien or they have the... With Crescent. The seed removed, if you will. Still, like, like, uh, what's his name? Crescent. Oh, I can't remember. It's actually, I pronounce her name. Wow, look at him. Look at that. Look at that happy boy. Look at that fucking guy. This one? The two of them. Look at <laughs> that. They're fucking they just, happy as they shit. They just, they just came to fruition. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> what you don't see is their left hands, and they are probably visiting the jerk shack. Oh, baby. And they created this one. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> With this woman. <coughs> Oh, shit. That's a bob from hell. <laughs> Look at the cat flying in the background. <laughs> it's the noise it makes. It's the noise it makes. Oh, uh, I think this is a porno. We're not going to go deeper into that. Yeah. As in the story with David Higgins. Yes, Huggins. Huggins. I Close. Knew you, it was one of you the brought two it most... back to my fucking yes. mind. As Josh talked about... There's a clear case of being abducted on multiple occasions in an effort to make him reproduce with some kind of alien, Crescent. With hundreds of babies. And he even saw a whole daycare center full of these <laughs> alien-human hybrids. Hey, he taught the bitch how to breastfeed. <laughs> he did tell. Oh, if you uh, don't know that story, head back to that episode. David Huggins. David Huggins. Um are these extraterrestrial beings coming here to steal our genetic material and no. blend it with theirs in an attempt to create beings of their world and ours who could walk and live amongst us every day? Yes. Would this being support its alien halves agenda or side with humanity? Um, now we That's have uh, an invincible situation. Are you a Viltrumite or are you a human? So many bad We're fucking bands. nerds. <laughs> Excellent. How could they accomplish this on such a scale? And what would their end game be? Mm. While conspiracy theorists online might have uncovered a sinister plot that all begins with President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Now, I'm, I briefly touched on this part here, but sometime in the future, I want to do a full episode on this. Okay. Because this is this is a crazy story, and I was disappointed to only touch on it a little bit for time constraints, but this is pretty cool. David Huggins is episode 64. Now, we don't really have a... We don't have them listed, but that was in August 21st, 2023. Yeah. Anyways, yes. Yes. I just wanted to get that out. You're good. It all begins with President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Now, okay. on February 21st of 1954, oh. Eisenhower was, quote unquote, vacationing in Palm Springs, California, when he suddenly went missing for a short time, last seen being rushed to Edwards Air Force Base. Now, speculation at the time went crazy with some thinking he had died. The official cover story, we'll call it, because this wasn't just like a, a couple of people were like, oh, the president's missing. This was, it's a fucking president. He's missing. Yeah. So news articles, well, I mean, news outlets were picking up on it and they're like, where the fuck's the president? He's gone. Nobody's I'm answering. I'm sure they're dealing with that Hello? a lot. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Nobody's I'm sure they're answering. dealing with that a lot nowadays because yeah. he just wanders. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> 
Who's over here? Where did the fucking president go? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's like a little they, toddler. They got the air tag clipped on him. <laughs> yeah. It's clipped underneath his, his lapel. Come on, Mr. President. <laughs> this way. You know, we got ice cream. <laughs> ah, what the fuck did we get ice cream? I was sir, looking for the bathroom. Sir, it's in your hand. It's in your hand. <laughs> oh, that's why my hand's all wet. <laughs> oh. uh, read next line again. Is that what your your notes? Oh, said? I'm sorry. That's what my notes said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so speculation at the time went crazy. Was something he had died. The official cover story, we'll call it, is that he had to undergo emergency dental surgery at Edwards Air Force Base. Yeah, but when you want to go to the dentist, you go to an Air Force Base. Well, they had the medical staff there. Well, yeah, but wouldn't you just go to a dentist? Probably, but it's it's not any normal dentist. It's the Edwards Air Force Base dentist, He's known sp- around the world as Edward Air Force Base dentist. Yes, <laughs> it's, that's what he was given at birth his name to be. <laughs> but theories say that during this time he was occupied, actually negotiating a treaty between alien races and the United States of America. Oh, wait a minute! I saw a video. Yes. Now this video was explaining a treaty that happened mm-hmm. with aliens. Mm-hmm. And it was in a conference, and mm-hmm. I guess there was a secret. Oh, oh man, the guy accidentally stumbled. He was in a government building, but yeah, he worked in a government building. He accidentally stumbled into this meeting on accident, and they thought he was some guy that he wasn't. And he sat in the meeting to see a video that isn't supposed to be said or talked about or seen by the public of this treaty yep. that they struck with these aliens. And long story short. By the end of it, everybody in the video, except for the officials that obviously made the deal, were massacred, and their life force was taken or something like that Wow! in this video. Um, that is crazy. As a deal to not have them overtake the world, we're giving them, um, they're allowed to take X amount of people per year, mm. which also goes back to the missing 401 thing. Anyways, there's, the video's not seen. This is just a story. Yeah. Who knows how true it is? People, yeah. people can lie. You people, know? <laughs> people can lie. People can lie. Yeah. So, but I just find that interesting. It is interesting. And I'm wondering if it's the same deal. Yes. That you're about to talk. Yes. About. And uh, there's lots of twists and turns in this story. Ooh. So that all keep that all in your mind. That might come up when we do that episode someday because this is an, this is crazy. Um, where was I? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to fuck it's you. It's okay. I just, was a ooh hey it's okay yeah so I gotta get this woman off my screen <laughs> let's go back to the jerking off <laughs> aliens there we go proof can be found of this supposed treaty when observing the oddity of the of a president disappearing so swiftly and even further when the li- uh, Eisenhower Library records are searched which has a detailed extensive catalog of all of the president's health records in when observed or when um, searched in there. Mm-hmm. They show no emergency dental surgery on that date to fix the broken tooth cap from eating fried chicken, which is legitimately what? the cover story. You're telling me that the government lied? Right. Whistleblower stories began coming out about the true nature of his disappearance. A meeting with the aliens. A series of meetings during this time with multiple different alien races. I think this went on over the course of like a week or so. Gotcha. Okay. Um well, there was no, like, have... firm dates, but right. well, like, there was multiple meetings with multiple different races during this time. If you are negotiating with a race of aliens, yeah, I think, in my head, the way I interpret that is that they want to do something to us. So you're trying to negotiate to stop them from doing stuff. You're giving them things. That's just my interpretation of a negotiation. Yes. Otherwise, why? Well, I'll get to the deal. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what the deal was. I keep interrupting him. I'm trying not to. It's all good. I want to hear the story. It's all good. And the re. Uh, The series of meetings during the time with multiple different alien races would conclude with an agreement being reached between the Greys and the president. The resulting treaty, um, uh, the Treaty of Grenada, I think it was called. Oh, that sounds about right. I didn't put it in for some reason, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. The resulting treaty would allow the Greys and the Reptilians... Which ones? Uh, never mind. Keep going. I'm to sorry. establish underground research facilities across the U.S. in an effort to fuse their alien race with ours and create a better evolution of their race that takes the form of an alien-human hybrid. God damn it. 
Out of the deal, the U.S. would in turn receive advanced technology to expedite our military and space research programs. They were given boundaries and standards that they must follow in their research, however. They were allowed to abduct cattle and other animals and were given a limit on how many humans they could take. The human abductees were to be harvested for their genetic material or under whatever means extract it. With the rising tensions of this time period, the U.S. pursued the opportunity to get the leg up during this time and made such a ludicrous deal so quickly and even to hear it out in the first place. But this rash deal wouldn't allow time for foresight. Why do they want to create a sustainable hybrid equipped for survival on our planet? Their true intentions? To ultimately take over the world's government and in turn our planet. Research from investigators has now concluded that the domination plan by the aliens has almost reached fruition and is in its final stages. This is now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whistleblower Phil Schneider, a top figure in the UFO and alien conspiracy theories sector, claims that the aliens' plan will come to fruition with a full worldwide government takeover in 2029. Five years. He claims to have been part of the machine for 17 years while working as a geologist and a structural engineer for many underground bases that employed human and alien workers alike. During his employment, he had a level 3 security clearance which allowed him access to areas of Area 51 and S4 as well as others, Mm -hmm. possibly Dolce. Mm -hmm. He claims that the government has spent somewhere in the neighborhood of 28% of the country's gross national product on these installations and their maintenance alone, all under the guise of these black projects. Right. Um, He says there are more than 130 of these underground facilities across the entire country, and they are connected by an advanced underground transportation system. Following his biggest disclosure event in 1996, he was suddenly found unalived in his apartment. Oh. Do with that info as you will. And how was it he? was a quote unquote suicide, as it always is. But you can't really. I'm sure it's hard to suicide yourself with um, grounding yourself with a piano wire. So that's uh, what they thought they found him as. Some stories say that he was found like that. There's a lot of those stories. Yes, there is. That's you know why we do all these episodes, especially the alien ones, and we see a lot of connections. We can't make the connections because one of us might become unalive. That's fine. It's not my problem anymore if it's me. Instantly, right? Well, it's instantly of, not my. Problem. Out of two of us, you're you're the one going to be starting a family, so you know. Well, yeah. following his bisexual. So all that. I thought you were saying following his bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all we're right. gonna sing it because he deserves it. <laughs> bisexual. He also claimed that there is a central one world order that Mm -hmm. is siding with the aliens and slowly helping to integrate their hybrids into positions of power to lay the groundwork for the 2029 takeover date. Mm -hmm. Before his passing, Schneider said that the government would someday be forced to disclose their actions and their fuck up. This might be seen today through the drip feeding of UFO documents, investigations, and reports. When you put a goldfish in a new tank, you do it slowly and incrementally, Add it by adding the new water to the old water until it's fully acclimated to the new water. Absolutely. So, is that what they're doing to us?